All right, welcome back to the channel, Platinum Pursuit Outdoors. I'm glad you're here. Today I wanna to spend a little bit of time talking to you about this guy right here, and that is the battlement from Wild Edge. Now, before I throw this on the tree and we run down the specs and all that good stuff, let's first talk why the battlement. So my go-to platform all of 2020 and even late season 2021 has been the Tethered Predator. I love that platform. There's nothing I dislike about that platform. It's everything it's advertised to be, and it's gonna remain in my arsenal for a long time. But as all of these other companies and even Tethered started offering platforms that had a larger real estate for your feet, I would sit in the tree and I'd kind of just be pushing off and shifting and moving around the tree just to see how much benefit would there be to an extra large. And as I would scour through all the companies and what their offerings were, my eye caught the battlement. The reason being is I wouldn't consider this a large or an XL. I would consider this a hybrid between the two. The reason being is because the inner platform right here to here is only seven inches wide. Now off the top of my head, I'm gonna measure them later for a comparison, but off the top of my head, I believe the Predator is somewhere around nine inches. So I'm losing an inch on each side. But then from tip to tip here, it's 16 inches. And so it's, it's, it's all, almost offering you the best of both worlds. Uh, where you need the width the most away from the tree, uh, you have it with the battlement, 16 inches. And I'm gonna show this a little bit later here when it's on the tree, but from where it attaches to the tree to the outside of the platform here is 10 inches. So that puts you away from the tree far enough that where if you're on a larger tree, 16 inches to 16 inches, you have quite a bit of moving room to push off and to go around that tree. The other thing about this that I like is in weight comparison, my Predator is 3.46 pounds with the strap. This guy comes in at 4.15 or six, I think it is, with the strap. So it's a little over a half a pound more or heavier than my Predator. And yet it offers me a much wider distance. So for me, for the half a pound, uh, it, was a, it was a non-issue for what I was gaining. So before we throw the battlement onto the tree, Let's talk a little bit about the design of the battlement. It was in January or February of 2020 that I had the ability to go to the outdoor show in Harrisburg. And there I met both Matt Garris from Out on a Limb Manufacturing and also Drew from Wild Edge. And what struck me was how well these two gentlemen worked together promoting the saddle hunting industry. Matter of fact, they shared the same booth and they were letting uh, customers mess around with all of their products and they were helping each other make sales. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool of both of them. And so they have a great friendship and that friendship is also seen in the design of this battlement. Here you have the base, which is Matt Garris out on a limbs, uh, standard base. It's his go-to base that the Ridge runner and other platforms have. And then you have the actual platform itself designed by Drew from Wild Edge. And so they have kind of put their heads together and they're using the base from out on the limb and also the platform which mimics the original perch. So I don't want to assume that everybody uh, watching this video has used an out on the limb bracket. There's two things you need to know. And the first is, is at the top of the bracket, you have that cutout right there. Okay, that cutout is what you place right onto the tree. The second thing you need to know is that these straps, they come with uh, loops and both the ends. And those loops you wrap around the tree and then you attach them to these ears right here. These little cleats or these pegs that stick out. So I'll show you how that's done. I'll go ahead and zoom the camera in just a tad so you can see. So once you get to the tree, just take it, put it up, wrap it around, take the loop, put it over the cleat, Like so, pops right on. Go ahead and set your belt down. Like so. And then from that, that point, you're just gonna take the stand, lift it up, and then cam it over like so. And when you cam that baby over, you can see in the soft bark, the teeth are digging into the bark. You get your weight on that, it's gonna lock in. Awesome. So let's say, let's say you're on a leaning tree. 
and you want to adjust that, all you have to do is lift up this, this platform itself and this knob right here. You can screw it in and that will, that will kind of change the angle. Or if you're on a leaning tree away from you, you can screw it the other way. And you can reference just by putting your hand back here and feeling how much thread is out. And you can see right there, the pitch angle changes. So that's how you would adjust that. So let me just show you a little bit about how you're able to maneuver on this platform. Again, one of the things I really like is just sitting in or, or leaning in the leaning position, having that 16 inch width. That's pretty nice that I can have my legs spread out a little further than what I normally can. But also, let's say I wanna I wanna push off and, and get this this shots, you know, you can just easily bury your foot on the side. If you wanted to be extreme, you could push your push off on that. The 16 inches from tip to tip really gives you the ability to maneuver around all angles of the tree. And of course, on bigger trees, that's where this would outshine a standard or a large platform versus the XL because you have more push off and it, and it extends out further. So, but yeah, if, if you wanted to, which you wouldn't have to, but you can get really extreme with this, the back side of these, these uh, tips. From the top, just looking down, when you're out 16 inches and you're 10, 10 inches away from the tree, I do pick up some, some movement, but that's never bothered me because aluminum is designed to have flex and bend in it. That's a good thing. That's what keeps it from breaking. And so that doesn't bother me at all, but it is just a super, super solid platform. Super solid. Lots of versatility. Lots of different ways that you can push off and you can get a leverage and get advantage around the tree. Just Yeah. Lot to like about it. And you don't get the full weight of some of the other larger platforms, but yet you still get some of the real estate out here where you, where you need it the most or out here where you'll spend most of your time on your platform. If you wanted to stand up and do the Ernie shot, I call it the Ernie shot, you know, the strong side where you grab your bow, you stand up. You have that all day long because, again, you have seven, seven inches of platform. Yeah. There's a lot to like about this particular platform. So here's just a few shots of the measurements. 16 inches, tip to tip. From the, the base to the tree, you're looking at somewhere right around 10, 10 and a quarter inches, which is a nice distance to be away from the tree. This inner diameter uh, right here in the middle is right at seven inches. And so again, if you're looking, if you're looking to add a little bit of real estate to your feet, especially out here where it would count the most, uh, check out the battlement. Definitely check that out. It's it's a pretty solid platform, and I'm going to enjoy using that alongside of my Predator. So here, so here, here's how I pack it along with my Predator. Generally, last year I hunted uh, all year with my beast sticks. I do have the tethered one sticks uh, at the house. I'm messing around with trying to do a little bit of comparison and stuff of that nature. But regardless of what sticks I use, um, I basically I would lay my sticks down here flat on the pack. This is a this is a Badlands Pursuit, and uh, I love it. I love all things Badlands. But I throw I just throw it on the pack. I lay my sticks down. And then basically I'll do the same. I'll just lay this, this on top, wrap my straps, cinch it down, and there you have it. So it would pack, pack just like that. And this is a standard size backpack, just for comparison. Fits on there very, very nicely. So I made it out of the woods back here to the house. And real quick, I wanna, I wanna take a couple measurements and give you my final thoughts in the, regards to the battlement. And forgive the mess inside this guy here. This is where I 
have been storing all of my my equipment I've been testing out the last couple days it's pretty pretty wild we got we got shikar mini sticks poking me in the back we have wild edge steps we have mad rock safeguards laying around we got one stick rope and Dano's ultimate one stick we got four b sticks we got tethered new one stick if anybody broke into here i'd be a hurting puppy that's for sure let me zoom right on in actually so what i'll do here is here's my go-to platform predator you can see when i'm in the tree the bulk of the activity happens from here to here very rarely am i back here it happens from here to here where it's all worn out worn down but just as kind of a quick a quick reference so you can see essentially you get you get two and a half inches on each side here we're at 11 and a half and then 16 for the battlements again i'm not saying nothing negative about the predator this thing is the cat's meow i love this stand i'm just talking for a platform with a little bit of extra real estate on the edges get you out from the tree and also help you to push around i would definitely consider checking out the battlement all right thanks for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below or if you want to be able to private message me swing over to instagram platinum pursuit outdoors and i'd be glad to answer any questions that you have and also keep your eyes peeled i got a lot of things coming down the pike here between one stickings and uh, sticks in general and so keep your eyes peeled for those again thanks for watching